Hello everyone, I'm Gina R and I want to welcome you back to my channel. As you can see, I have my Franklin Half Dollar album. What does that mean? We have a slot for it. Last week, I went to my local coin club meeting. In the past year, I joined the club, and I gotta say, I've really enjoyed it. Not only that, I've been able to win quite a few things through their auctions. How the meeting works is they'll have a meeting first, then a presentation, and then after those are done, they'll open it up for auction items. Members from the club will bring things uh, in, and they'll auction them off and you have an opportunity to bid on them. In this case, I bid on a Franklin half dollar and I want it for a very good price. And it's one that I need for my album. So I'm really happy about that. Now, before I tell you what I purchased, we're going to go over my album and where I stand currently with this album so let me go ahead and set it up so i can show you what i have already in my franklin half dollar album there are 35 slots that are to be filled out of the 35 i have 28 slots already filled meaning i'm missing seven franklin half dollars so here's the inside of the first page. I am missing the 1948, 1949 S, and the 1953S on the first page. On the second page, I'm missing the 1957, 1958, and 1959. Also, I am missing the 1962. So I'm missing three on the first page and four on the second, which makes it seven Franklin half dollars that I'm missing. And as you can see, some of them are in really good condition. And some of them can be upgraded. For example, the 1951 D. So now let me go ahead and show you what I purchased at the auction section of my coin club meeting. I was able to pick up a 1958 Philadelphia. Let me try to get a little closer to this. There we go. Look at that, a 1958 Philadelphia. It's in really nice condition. And the mint mark can be found up here in the top under the E of states. And since there is no mint mark, that means that this particular half dollar was minted and in Philadelphia. So that is really nice. So let me go ahead and take it out and we'll put it in the album. So let's go ahead and open up the album. Here we go. And it's going to go up here in the corner. So let me go ahead and slide this out. Now I will tell you, sometimes it is a little bit difficult to slide out the little plastic protectors. Now typically you can just push the coin right out of these. But this is kind of hard. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to carefully pull it apart. And now that I think about it, I better get some gloves. So I'm going to pause and go get some gloves, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the gloves. There we go. Let me put it so you can see it better up close. So let me zoom in. Look at that. 
It does have a few scuffs, but overall, it's in really nice condition. So let's go ahead and put it in the album. Well, this really does look nice. And considering how much I paid for it, I'm really happy. Let me slide this back in. It is tricky when you're sliding it in and out. Whoops, there it is. That's what I was worried about. Let me take off my gloves for this part. There we go. As you can see, sometimes it'll slide out. There we go. So that looks really nice up there in the corner. So that is cool. So out of the 35 slots that we are missing, we now have 29 of them filled. That is cool. So, whoops. I hate when that happens. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. And before I forget, I also want to thank my 2K donors, Walker Magnet and Chicken Man Dan. So thank you guys. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.